how to do addition in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this excel tutorial for beginners i'm going to show you different ways to do addition in microsoft excel okay let's get started <music> Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sum up all five numbers in cell E5, okay? Let's mark it here. Okay, so I'm going to sum up here. So, first thing I'm going to use is the plus sign. Write equal to and then write one, then plus. The second value is two, then three, four, five. This is the five value I want to add. So if I press enter, you can see we have our result. Okay. Now there is another way of adding cells in Excel. Okay. So I'm going to add all these five cell here using cell reference and get the addition here. Okay. So I'm going to write equal to again, and then I'm going to either select the cell and then add plus, or I'm going to type the cell reference both will work just fine then i'm going to add another plus sign then the next cell so in this way i can add several cells in excel now these two method works just same but the first one is not dynamic if i write here six you can see the result has changed because we have added cells using cell reference okay but here we have added only values so if someone changes the value source value the result won't change so i'm going to go back to normal now the third way this two isn't the efficient way this two isn't actually any kind of way just you need to know things works on excel now we are going to use a function okay i'm going to write here equal to and then i'm going to write sum so we can do addition using sum function from here we can either select single cell and then add comma then another cell in this way or if those cells are adjacent to each other i can just select the first one and drag to select all of them and here you can see we don't have any comma in between we have a colon here so it means we are going to sum up from cell a1 to a5 if I press enter we have same result and this is also dynamic okay and now we have another way of doing addition which is using the subtotal function so if I write here equal to and then write subtotal and you can see we have a suggestion here subtotal double click here and now we have to write 9 and then add comma okay why we had added 9 because in the 9th option we have sum okay so we had added nine and then add comma and then i can select all the ranges here just like i have done in sum function close parentheses and press enter same result let's say you just want to know what is the summation or what is the total of these cells okay if you can see here at the bottom of your status bar we have an option sum and it will show you the result okay now if i click here this result has been copied to our clipboard and if i select on any cell and press ctrl v or we paste it you can see the result is here okay now if you select a range of cells and sum doesn't come up in the status bar right click and from here you can tick mark the sum option here okay these are the way you can add up in Excel. Okay. Now, what if you have a total column of data that you want to sum up? So you cannot use the hard coded function or you cannot use the adding cells option by selecting single cell references here. So we have to use three method here. The first one is the sum function. I have already showed how you can do it. Just write equal to and then write sum double click on the function and select the entire column how you can select an entire column if you hover your mouse at the column name you can see a black down arrow has been appeared as your cursor okay so if i click here the entire column has been selected and it's listed in the sum function which is a colon a which means column a will be selected and if i press enter we have our summation now there is another way to total an entire column in excel so write equal to and then write subtotal 
we are going to use subtotal function here double click here and write nine then comma and select the entire column just like i have done before over your cursor over the column name which is a and click it will select the entire column close parentheses and press enter we have our same result okay now let's say i just want to know the total of this column i don't want to use any formula so select the entire column and here we have our sum on the status bar and the result is same here so click here and select any cell and paste it so all three methods will display you the same result and this is how you sum up numbers in microsoft excel this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon or you can use super chat to support the channel thank you thanks for watching